Hello everyone, welcome to my video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to secure your OnePlus 3 or 3T using fingerprint and screen lock password. If you haven't done it yet on the initial setup, you always can go to the settings and start to set up your new security. For that, we go to security and fingerprint. At the moment, as you can see, the screen lock is set up for swipe. I am going to change that to pin. Now there is an option if you'd like the device to require a pin to start the device. Or you can say no thanks, which I'm going to select. Now you select a pin which must be at least four characters. So I'm going to set up a generic pin. You can set up on your own whichever you like. For this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to going for one, two, three, four. Next, you can select what type of notifications. I mean, if you want to show all notification or hide sensitive ones or you don't want them at all. After you select them, press done. Now, after you lock the screen and you want to unlock it, you'll be requiring a pin. Without the pin, you cannot log in. So we have done that. Now, what if we'd like to uh, do that by the fingerprint? That's much easier. We need to type in always. So the next option is add fingerprint. For that, you need to confirm with your pin. So let's set that up. Uh, it says fingerprint to unlock, look at the fingerprint sensor. On the home button, uh, the fingerprint scanner is just right here. Press next. Make sure that your fingertip is not wet. Set it up. Uh, just touch different areas of your finger in there. There are some vibrations, so you can choose to do it in a different way. Make sure that you are registering your fingertips, uh, the edges as well. So it's done. You can use fingerprint whenever you see this icon in anywhere whenever you are using. You can add more fingers if you would like to. I'm going to leave it to the thumb at the moment. I'm going to press done. Fingerprint is already active. Once you set it up, once um, when it says you can use it, you don't need to set it up manually anymore. So it's done. Next option on security and fingerprint where we can select the app locker which is a great feature so we need to use our um, pin code in order to get in not our fingerprint scanner so let's go ahead and log in so now you can select which apps you want to be encrypted so only you who can see those the contents of those apps for example gallery you don't want anyone to see your messages or pictures so you can just select those up and Android Pay so no one can use them or Gmail if you don't want anyone to sneak peek your emails. So let's, uh, you can select gallery is just there. Let's go ahead and if you, I mean any app that you don't want anyone to open, you can have it. So let's go back and check all those that we have done. For example, I have set it up the messages not to be displayed without my approval. So when you click on the messages app, it gives you the option to enter the pin or use the fingerprint unless you cannot see it. So if I use my pin or fingerprint, it shows in there. And once you authorize one app to by using your fingerprint unless you turn off the screen it will be there for you go for more apps as we see fit for example if we don't want anyone to have a look at the gallery here we go no one can see it either i can use the pin to so in this way you can lock your device so nobody can log in or check what's the content even if they can log into your device you can set up additional security unless you have the app uh, pin code or the fingerprint nobody can use those apps this is more secure for your 
phone and your content. Thank you very much for watching our video. We will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and share if you like my video.